Mm-hmm. So whenever I had clients coming into my office, I was always like, what do you want me to do today? Like, I just saw you a couple of days ago. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do now, right? So there's no way your physiology changes that fast. As you know, with any athlete, if you have an injury and you go see a healthcare provider and they don't really understand your sport as much as they should, they can't really give you the best recommendations. Think about all the crazy shit you've done to your fingers for 10 years. And this has only happened once. Your pulleys are fucking strong. Like, you know, to think that like that one pulley injury means that you need to stop climbing altogether is goddamn silly. That doesn't make any sense. Most people, when they're coming to the end of their capacity for a set or a wall, they're like stressing because their forearms do get pumped like that. But unless you're used to doing that all the time, you know, it's like it kind of increases your sympathetic response. So you probably even fatigue more quickly because your heart's pumping even harder based on the psychological stress. It's not the same velocity, right? It's not the same intensity. And so finding out, you know, what that velocity looks like on the climbing wall and finding out what it looks like on the campus board should give a coach a little bit better of an analysis or a better understanding of maybe we need to add load to your body if you're campusing because your velocity is too fast.